Hey y'all, today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the products that I received from bbcrafts.com. Um, you can visit the links that I have in the description box below or you can go to bbcrafts.com. Uh, the one that I'm, I'm showing you today are these, um, these are called the trays uh, for the cabochons, which are the glass um, dome pieces that go into each of these trays. Well, um, I wanted to show you first how I store them, and I put them by um, metal color into these little containers from Dollar Tree, uh, which you get 10 or 12 in a package depending on the um, time of year that you get them. Sometimes uh, in January they'll run um, the 10-piece package for um, 12 pieces and, and the same same for a dollar, so I always pick up extra when they're 12. But I have them by color there, and it comes in the gold, the antique gold, and the um, uh, antique silver color for each of the shapes. Now, having said that, let's talk about the projects that I did. Well, this may be better known as a video of what not to do and how to learn from my mistakes as it is to do your own thing. So, um, let's start with, um, the, the, from the good to the bad, let's, let's go. So, years ago, Tim Holtz did, um, videos about using glossy accents, and he says, um, if you're going to, um, do a piece of paper, um, that you want, um, highlighted, for example, um, you know, I wanted this, this guy playing the ukulele here because my daughter loves the ukulele, and, um, so he said, you know, put a drop on there. I did two drops because it was such a big piece of, of um, um, dome here, glass dome and tray. Um, so he said, put two, one or two drops. So I did that. You put the glass dome on top of it. You press it with your finger. You smidge it around until you have it um, centered where you want it and let it dry. So I did that on top of my, um, my Ranger mat or a silicone mat. I have a um, silicon um, cutting um, a placemat thing that again I got from Dollar Tree and so I had this laying on there to dry. Once the um, paper is dried onto the glass cabochon then you put one or two drops down inside the tray and you put the um, paper well excuse me I guess I just skipped a step so you're going to start by, once the paper is dried to the cabochon, you're going to trim it up with your scissors, um, flip it over upside down like this, and use a fingernail file or a piece of sandpaper, and you're going to go downwards. And that's to keep from, if you were going in this direction, then you can actually lift the paper edge. Well, then you're going to put one or two drops down in the tray, and then lay the piece of paper covered cabochon down in there like I did here. Well, hindsight's 2020 and you learn things as you go. But um so it, it looks pretty good, yeah. But when I tilt it this way, do you see the dark area there? That's actually where the drop um soaked into the paper a little bit more. This has had um over 48 hours to dry, so it's definitely not that. Not really sure what it is, but it did it on all three. I did a necklace. I did a, this is going to be a rear view mirror charm. Um, here's the necklace. If I can get it up. There we go. And it did it here too. You can see that much clearer. And um, yeah, it's, it's visible. So... Yeah, but it'll be fine for my daughter. She'll, she'll appreciate it anyway. And then I did, this one's going to be a keychain. And this time, I don't know where the blue came from. But there's a little bit of blue in there. But this this kind of um, has a, a cool ending result in there. I'm okay with it. This one's not so bad. Um, but it does, like I said, have that little bit of blue in there. Okay, so um, I, I started there, and then I thought, okay, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I tried again, and I did a little um, cabochon. This is the oval one. I did it onto um, top of a sticker, a piece of a sticker that I really wanted the words. 
And when I did that and let it dry and then it worked fine. I don't know what is the difference, but this one I'm going to use on a project and just glue it directly on as a um, little embellishment to the side. Um, so yeah, maybe it was the thinness of this paper, but um, that is a, a learning curve that I went through and, and don't really know what I learned. Then I decided, okay, I'm going to do one with a photo. And I started <laughs> this way. I um, have, let me show you. I have glossy accents and I have this liquid laminate. In all honesty, I have had less res uh, good results with glossy accents over the years than I have with liquid laminate. Liquid laminate is much more liquid um, uh, than glossy accents dries clear and stays clear for longer more years um glossy accents if you can see it has a little bit of a yellow tint and over the years it will get a little more yellow well um so i thought okay i want to do a necklace um with the charm of my girls i don't really wear necklaces but every once in a while i can in certain occasions so i thought okay i'll do that put the glossy accents on there. Of course, it dried with ripples and divots and, and there was not the first air bubble in there. So don't even go there. I don't know why, but if you can see, I covered it with liquid laminate, but there's still, yeah, you can see where the there was a very deep um, dent in there and you can see them, they're much more shallow now. They don't cause as much of a problem to the faces of my girls. This is when they were much young, younger. But there's the necklace that I made with those. So I thought, okay, we're going to go with the cabochon. We don't want to just cover it with the um, glossy accents or the liquid laminate. So I thought, I don't know what I was thinking, but don't think this way unless this is a result you want. <laughs> I, I took a piece of lace. It was a small piece of lace from my um, grandmother's. Um, antique lace that she had um, given me and I took a small piece of lace of that one of the little flowers and I laid it inside there and it was um, it would fit and I put the cabochon over it and I thought oh this is going to be cute well I don't know what I was thinking but I used Fabri-Tac yes good old Fabri-Tac just this <laughs> um, so I put a little Fabri-Tac in there to glue down the lace and then I thought, oh, why not? Fabri-Tac dries clear. So I put a heavy dose of that in there and put the um, cabochon over the top to let it dry. And if you can see, there's some air bubbles in there. Also, the lace slid off center, which is not bad. But the air bubbles... To me, I almost make it look like there's cracked glass. I don't know. Do I have all my lights on? Yeah, I guess I do. Maybe this will help a little bit. Yeah. Do you see? It It almost looks like cracked glass or, or you know, just very vintage glass. So, it's not a complete failure, but it's not the best job either. So, and by the way, none of these problems have to do with the product. The products are great. It's me. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do it again. So I did it again, and this time I used the liquid laminate. Let the liquid laminate dry for 48 hours before you add more layers, especially thick layers. Because when you add thick layers, it will get milky. But again, I kind of like that. But do you see how much more of a smooth, whoa, there we go, smooth surface I get? I am don't, I don't get a, um, the divots and this was a very dimensional piece of lace in there and this is several layers of I guess you can't see how thick it is but it's several layers of the liquid laminate but I kind of like it that it's milky look at that detail so um what I did was I made this into a necklace like this and I used the um, this is the the lace charms that I made the other day with the uh, ribbon crimp ends and I added this piece on and this is a couple more of those little flowers from the 
um, the same lace and now it becomes a beautiful pendant necklace well in my opinion I like it I think it's cute precious as it is so um, what I did was uh, originally the um, ribbon ends were all on one of these Tim Holtz swivel clasps like this and I just took this part off just this part I took it off that allowed me to have all this chain where everything was connected and I just put that on a jump ring here onto this ball chain and I don't know guys I think it's cute okay, okay guys, and there you go um, another option just adding it to a pin you can take the um, chain off and, and I've just got the jump ring there you can have everything on a little strip of chain um, and pin everything to jump rings and connect your jump rings but then there you go there's um, a little charm that would be just so sweet on the back of a journal and I hope that you enjoyed this video please um, make sure that you follow the links that are below uh, they are having a Black Friday sale where everything is um, Uh, 20% off I think um, there's a description below <laughs> please follow that there's a link and a code that you can use um, make sure that you like this video subscribe if you haven't so that you can see more and I think I have one more video in the series and that is using the die cuts and then I will be moving on to some other projects I have um, my daughter's wedding album to share with you guys. It's using Genevieve Designs templates, so I'm excited about that. And I hope that you all will come back by and see me again. Thanks. Bye.